Leonardo da Vinci was born on April 15, 1452, in Vinci, a small town in Italy. He was born out of wedlock to Ser Piero da Vinci, a notary, and Caterina, a peasant woman. His full name, Leonardo di Ser Piero da Vinci, translates to Leonardo, son of Piero, from Vinci. Despite his unconventional birth, Leonardo was accepted into his father's household, where he grew up surrounded by Vinci's natural beauty and immersed in the Tuscan countryside. From a young age, Leonardo showed a prodigious talent for art. His early drawings displayed an exceptional level of skill and observation. Vinci's landscape, flora and fauna likely influenced his early artistic inclinations. Leonardo's keen interest in nature and curiosity about the world around him would become defining features of his later life and work. Even in his formative years, Leonardo's inquisitive mind set him apart. His father recognized his artistic potential and apprenticed him to Andrea del Verrocchio, a prominent artist in Florence. This early exposure to a renowned workshop in Florence laid the foundation for Leonardo's artistic training, marking the beginning of a remarkable journey that would eventually redefine the boundaries of art, science, and innovation. Education. Under the guidance of Andrea del Verrocchio in Florence, Leonardo da Vinci received a comprehensive education in the arts. This apprenticeship not only honed his skills as a painter, but exposed him to various artistic disciplines. Working in Verrocchio's workshop allowed Leonardo to collaborate on projects ranging from paintings and sculptures to metalwork and engineering. Leonardo's education extended beyond traditional artistic techniques. He learned the principles of anatomy, mathematics and engineering, subjects that would later become integral to his multidisciplinary approach. This early exposure to diverse fields laid the groundwork for his future as a polymath. Verrocchio's workshop provided a unique environment for Leonardo's development, surrounded by other talented artists and craftsmen. This collaborative setting fostered an atmosphere of innovation and shared knowledge, influencing Leonardo's inclination towards exploring the intersection of art and science. Artistic careers. Leonardo da Vinci embarked on his independent artistic career around 1478, establishing his own workshop in Florence. This period marked a crucial juncture in his life as he transitioned from being an apprentice to a recognized artist in his own right. During this early phase, Leonardo produced notable works that showcased his evolving style and technical prowess. Annunciation, painted during this period, reflects his mastery of composition, perspective, and the subtle use of light and shadow. This painting, now housed in the Uffizi Gallery in Florence, captures the essence of his artistic approach. Leonardo's reputation as an artist quickly grew attracting commissions from various patrons. His ability to convey depth, realism and emotion in his paintings set him apart. His keen observational skills, coupled with an insatiable curiosity, fueled his artistic exploration. This phase of Leonardo's career laid the foundation for the groundbreaking contributions he would make in the realms of art, science and engineering. The seeds of innovation that sprouted during his early years as an independent artist would blossom into a body of work that transcended the conventions of his time. Mona Lisa One of Leonardo da Vinci's most iconic and enigmatic works is the Mona Lisa. Painted between 1503 and 1506, this masterpiece showcases Leonardo's unparalleled skill in capturing subtle expressions and rendering lifelike portraits. The Mona Lisa, also known as La Gioconda, depicts a woman with a mysterious smile against a background of distant landscapes. Leonardo employed a groundbreaking technique called sfumato, a gradual blending of colors and tones, to achieve a seamless and realistic transition between light and shadow. This technique contributed to the painting's elusive and captivating atmosphere. Leonardo's meticulous attention to detail is evident in the delicate rendering of the subject's features, such as her enigmatic smile and the play of light in her eyes. The Mona Lisa's gaze follows the viewer, adding to the painting's intrigue. The portrait's composition and the subject's posture, set against a serene landscape, 
mark a departure from traditional portraiture of the time. Leonardo's innovative approach to capturing human expression and the subtle nuances of light and shadow in the Mona Lisa have cemented its status as one of the most celebrated and studied works of art in history. The Last Supper Leonardo da Vinci's most renowned works is The Last Supper, a mural painted on the walls of the convent of Santa Maria delle Grazie in Milan. Created between 1495 and 1498, this masterpiece captures the moment Jesus announces that one of his disciples will betray him. The composition is striking, with Christ at the center, surrounded by disciples reacting to the revelation. Leonardo's meticulous attention to emotions and gestures imbues each figure with a sense of individuality and humanity, transcending traditional representations. Leonardo's technical innovations are evident in the use of perspective and the integration of the architectural elements of the room. The lines converge toward a central vanishing point, drawing the viewer's focus to the emotional core of the scene. Despite the ravages of time and various restoration attempts, The Last Supper remains a testament to Leonardo's artistic genius and his ability to capture profound moments with a harmonious blend of realism and spiritual depth. The mural continues to be a subject of fascination and study, revealing new insights into Leonardo's techniques and the historical context of his time. Scientific interests. Leonardo da Vinci's genius extended far beyond the realm of art. He was a true polymath with a profound interest in various scientific disciplines. His insatiable curiosity led him to explore anatomy, engineering, astronomy, botany, and more. Leonardo's scientific endeavors were not isolated from his artistic pursuits. Rather, they complemented and enriched each other. His meticulous observations of the natural world influenced his artistic representations, imbuing them with a level of detail and accuracy uncommon in his era. In the field of anatomy, Leonardo conducted dissections of both humans and animals, creating detailed sketches of muscles, organs, and skeletal structures. His anatomical studies, documented in his extensive notebooks, demonstrated a groundbreaking level of precision and a deep understanding of the human body. Leonardo's notebooks are a treasure trove of scientific observations, sketches, and ideas. His studies encompassed the flow of water, the flight of birds, the properties of light, and even speculations about the nature of fossils. These notebooks reveal a mind constantly questioning, observing, and seeking to unravel the mysteries of the world. Leonardo's integration of art and science exemplifies the Renaissance spirit, where the boundaries between disciplines blurred, leading to profound advancements in both artistic expression and scientific understanding. Notebooks. Leonardo da Vinci's notebooks stand as a testament to his insatiable curiosity and the breadth of his intellectual pursuits. These notebooks, comprising over 13,000 pages of sketches, diagrams, observations, and reflections, offer a window into the mind of a true Renaissance polymath. Leonardo used his notebooks for a variety of purposes. They served as a repository for his artistic ideas, scientific studies, engineering designs, and philosophical musings. The pages are a kaleidoscope of topics, ranging from anatomical studies and mathematical calculations to sketches of inventions and observations of natural phenomena. One of the remarkable aspects of Leonardo's notebooks is the integration of text and illustrations. His mirror writing, a distinctive feature, might have been a method to keep his notes private, but it has also posed challenges for later interpreters. The notebooks reveal Leonardo's commitment to understanding the world through direct observation. His drawings of machines, anatomy, and natural phenomena showcase a keen eye for detail and a dedication to accuracy. Today, Leonardo's notebooks are invaluable historical and artistic documents. They provide a unique insight into the mind of a genius, capturing the essence of the Renaissance spirit and influencing generations of artists, scientists, and thinkers who followed. Anatomical Studies Leonardo da Vinci's groundbreaking anatomical studies represent a pivotal aspect of his intellectual pursuits. Driven by a profound curiosity about the human body, 
Leonardo conducted meticulous dissections of both humans and animals, aiming to unravel the mysteries of anatomy. His anatomical drawings are characterized by their precision and attention to detail. Leonardo went beyond superficial observations, delving into the intricacies of muscles, tendons and internal organs. His sketches reveal a deep understanding of anatomy, showcasing the interconnectedness and complexity of the human form. One of his notable contributions is the series of drawings known as the Anatomical Manuscript A. In these studies, Leonardo explored various body systems, including the cardiovascular and nervous systems. His depictions of the heart's chambers and valves, as well as the brain's ventricles, demonstrated an advanced understanding that was ahead of his time. Leonardo's anatomical studies were not widely disseminated during his lifetime, but they had a profound impact on the development of medical illustration and the understanding of human anatomy. His legacy in this field endures, with his anatomical drawings recognized as both scientific achievements and masterpieces of artistic expression. Inventions Leonardo da Vinci's inventive mind extended beyond the canvas, leading him to conceptualize a wide array of inventions that showcased his engineering acumen and innovative thinking. Among his sketches and designs are concepts for flying machines, including ornithopters and parachute-like devices. While many of these designs were visionary and ahead of their time, they were not realized during his lifetime due to technological limitations. Leonardo also delved into the realm of war machines, envisioning devices such as tanks and armored vehicles. His designs for siege engines and defensive structures reflected both his understanding of engineering principles and his awareness of the military challenges of his era. In the realm of hydraulics, Leonardo's designs included water-related inventions such as irrigation systems, water wheels and pumps. His fascination with the movement and control of water demonstrated a practical understanding of engineering applied to everyday life. Architectural Designs Leonardo da Vinci's creative genius extended to the realm of architecture, where he envisioned innovative and aesthetically pleasing designs for various structures. His architectural sketches and plans encompassed a diverse range of projects, from bridges and fortifications to city planning. Leonardo's designs for bridges, in particular, showcased his understanding of engineering principles and the desire to create structures that were both functional and visually appealing. One notable example is his design for a bridge that could be easily assembled and disassembled, allowing for swift deployment during military campaigns. This reflected not only his engineering prowess, but also a strategic mindset in addressing practical challenges of his time. Leonardo's architectural ideas also extended to city planning, where he envisioned idealized designs for urban spaces. His drawings included plans for piazzas, streets, and buildings arranged in harmonious and geometrically balanced layouts. While many of Leonardo's architectural designs were not realized during his lifetime, they underscore his holistic approach to creativity. His architectural concepts integrated art, engineering, and a deep appreciation for the aesthetics of the built environment, showcasing his enduring influence on the fields of design and urban planning. Military Engineering Leonardo da Vinci's multifaceted talents extended to the realm of military engineering, where he applied his inventive mind to devise strategies, weapons, and defensive systems. In service to Ludovico Sforza, the Duke of Milan, Leonardo served as a military engineer and devised plans for fortifications to protect the city. His expertise in understanding the principles of geometry and mechanics contributed to innovative ideas for improving defensive structures. Leonardo's notebooks are replete with designs for various war machines, ranging from cannons and catapults to armored tanks. His inventive approach sought to enhance the efficiency and effectiveness of military technology during a time of significant advancements in warfare. His contributions weren't limited to offensive and defensive weaponry. Leonardo also studied the tactics of warfare and suggested strategic improvements. His ability to think critically about military challenges demonstrated not only his artistic and scientific talents, 
but also his practical understanding of the geopolitical landscape of his era. Vitruvian Man One of Leonardo da Vinci's most iconic drawings is the Vitruvian Man, a study of the proportions of the human body based on the writings of the ancient Roman architect Vitruvius. Created around 1490, this illustration depicts a man in two superimposed positions within both a square and a circle. The drawing explores the relationships between the proportions of the human body and geometric forms, embodying the Renaissance fascination with the interconnectedness of art and science. Leonardo's meticulous measurements and attention to detail in the Vitruvian Man exemplify his commitment to understanding the harmony and symmetry inherent in nature. The drawing represents not only a study of anatomy, but also an exploration of the mathematical principles underlying the human form. Codex Lester The Codex Lester, also known as the Codex Hammer after its later owner, is one of Leonardo da Vinci's most famous notebooks. Written between 1506 and 1510, it is named after Thomas Coke, the Earl of Leicester, who purchased it in 1717. This collection of scientific writings explores various topics, including geology, hydrodynamics, astronomy, and the properties of water. Leonardo's observations and ideas in the Codex Lester reveal his inquisitive mind and his pioneering contributions to understanding the natural world. In this notebook, Leonardo documented his studies of water including observations on rivers, currents, and the formation of waves. His exploration of geological phenomena, such as the origins of fossils, showcased his early insights into the Earth's history. Its pages offer a rich tapestry of ideas that continue to inspire scientists and thinkers, highlighting Leonardo's enduring impact on the intersection of art and scientific inquiry. Connection with the Sforza family Leonardo da Vinci's association with the powerful Sforza family played a significant role in shaping his artistic and professional trajectory. In the late 15th century, Leonardo entered the service of Ludovico Sforza, Duke of Milan, becoming a key figure in the cultural and intellectual circles of the city. In Milan, Leonardo's artistic talents were employed for various projects, including paintings, sculptures, and theatrical productions. His role as a military engineer for the Duke also allowed him to explore his inventive and strategic capabilities in designing fortifications and war machines. Under Ludovico Sforza's patronage, Leonardo created some of his most celebrated works, including The Last Supper. This period marked a flourishing of his artistic endeavors as he enjoyed the support and resources provided by the Sforza court. However, the political dynamics in Milan changed, leading to the downfall of Ludovico Sforza. Leonardo left Milan and entered a phase of traveling and seeking patronage in other Italian cities, eventually finding support in the form of commissions from different patrons, including Cesare Borgia and King Francis I of France. The connection with the Sforza family not only facilitated Leonardo's artistic pursuits, but also exposed him to the complexities of court life, politics, and military strategy, influencing the breadth and diversity of his contributions to both the arts and sciences. Later Years in Rome and France In the later years of his life, Leonardo da Vinci experienced a period of mobility, moving between different cities in Italy and eventually finding patronage abroad. After leaving Milan, Leonardo spent some time in Florence, where he worked on various projects and continued his artistic and scientific explorations. However, the political situation in Italy prompted him to seek new opportunities elsewhere. In 1513, Leonardo moved to Rome, where he found favor with Pope Leo X. During his time in the Vatican City, he continued his artistic work and engaged in architectural projects, but he faced challenges due to the political instability of the time. In 1516, at the invitation of King Francis I, Leonardo relocated to France. He spent his remaining years in the service of the French king, who held great admiration for the artist. Leonardo brought with him some of his most significant works, including the Mona Lisa, 
In France, Leonardo continued to work on artistic projects and maintained his interest in scientific studies. However, his health began to decline and he passed away on May 2nd, 1519 in Amboise, France. While his later years were marked by geographical shifts and changes in patronage, they underscored his enduring impact as a revered artist and thinker on the European stage. Death. Leonardo da Vinci passed away on May 2nd, 1519 at the age of 67 in Amboise, France. His death marked the end of a remarkable life, characterized by artistic brilliance, scientific curiosity, and inventive genius. In the later years of his life, Leonardo faced health challenges, and historical records suggest that he may have experienced a stroke in his final days. Despite his physical ailments, his mind remained sharp, and he continued to sketch and write until the end. Leonardo's death was a loss not only for the art world, but also for the fields of science and engineering. His funeral was held at the chapel of Saint-Hubert in Amboise, where he was buried. While his final resting place is known, the exact location of his grave within the chapel remains uncertain. Leonardo da Vinci's legacy endures through his groundbreaking contributions to art and science. The breadth and depth of his work continue to captivate and inspire people around the world making him one of the most revered figures in the history of human creativity and intellectual achievement. Legacy Leonardo da Vinci's legacy is profound and far-reaching, transcending the boundaries of art and science. His impact on the Renaissance era and subsequent centuries is immeasurable. As an artist, Leonardo revolutionized the approach to painting. His mastery of techniques such as sfumato, subtle blending of colors, and chiaroscuro, contrast between light and shadow, set new standards for realism and depth in art. The Mona Lisa and The Last Supper remain iconic, influencing generations of artists. In the realm of science, Leonardo's meticulous anatomical studies and scientific observations advanced the understanding of the human body and natural phenomena. His notebooks, filled with sketches and writings, stand as a testament to his insatiable curiosity and pioneering spirit. Leonardo's inventions, although many were never realized, demonstrated his visionary thinking in engineering and technology. His designs for flying machines, war devices, and hydraulic systems foreshadowed innovations that would emerge centuries later. His legacy extends beyond his tangible works to the principles he embodied, the fusion of art and science, the pursuit of knowledge, and the unyielding curiosity about the world. Leonardo da Vinci remains an enduring symbol of human creativity, intellectual curiosity, and the boundless possibilities that arise from the intersection of disciplines. Incomplete Works One distinctive aspect of Leonardo da Vinci's career is the presence of numerous incomplete works, reflecting his constant quest for perfection and the breadth of his diverse interests. Despite his incredible talent and prolific output, Leonardo left many projects unfinished. From paintings to scientific studies, his notebooks are filled with sketches and ideas that were never brought to fruition. This is partly attributed to his tendency to explore multiple subjects simultaneously and his meticulous approach to detail. Notable examples include the Adoration of the Magi, a painting that remained incomplete as Leonardo left Florence for Milan. Another is the equestrian monument to Francesco Sforza, which he envisioned as a colossal bronze statue, but was never completed due to various challenges, including the need for vast amounts of metal during times of war. The incompleteness of some of Leonardo's works adds an air of mystery to his legacy, prompting speculation and intrigue. It also highlights the dynamic nature of his mind, ever engaged in a multitude of projects, each a testament to his relentless pursuit of knowledge and artistic excellence. Artistic Style Leonardo da Vinci's artistic style is characterized by a unique blend of technical mastery, realism, and a profound understanding of the natural world. His approach to art went beyond the mere representation of subjects. It involved a deep exploration of anatomy, light, and perspective. 
Leonardo's use of sfumato, a technique involving subtle transitions between light and shadow, contributed to the softness and naturalism in his paintings. This method allowed him to create a sense of three-dimensionality and capture the nuances of light and atmosphere. His attention to detail was extraordinary, and he often spent extended periods studying his subjects before putting brush to canvas. This meticulous approach is evident in works like the Mona Lisa, where every stroke seems purposeful and the subject's enigmatic smile is rendered with precision. Leonardo's interest in scientific principles influenced his artistic choices. He sought to understand the underlying structures of the human body and the mechanics of movement, imbuing his figures with a sense of life and vitality. While his contemporaries admired his technical prowess, Leonardo's departure from traditional artistic conventions such as his unconventional composition in The Last Supper, marked him as a visionary and set the stage for the evolution of artistic expression in the centuries to come. Recognition Leonardo da Vinci is widely recognized as one of the greatest artists and thinkers in history, and his contributions have left an indelible mark on the Renaissance and beyond. During his lifetime, Leonardo garnered admiration for his artistic skill earning commissions from prominent patrons such as the Medici family and the Sforza court. His fame spread not only for his paintings like the Mona Lisa and the Last Supper, but also for his prowess in various fields from anatomy to engineering. Posthumously, Leonardo's reputation continued to soar. Art historians and scholars celebrated his pioneering spirit, his fusion of art and science, and his ability to capture the essence of the human experience. His notebooks, filled with sketches and writings, became prized treasures, offering insights into his unparalleled intellect. Leonardo's influence extended across disciplines, inspiring artists, scientists and thinkers for centuries. His ideas about the interconnectedness of art and science foreshadowed the interdisciplinary approach embraced in the modern era. The name Leonardo da Vinci has become synonymous with genius, innovation, and the boundless potential of human creativity.